Hello everyone and welcome to the next lesson and today we're talking about moving averages. Moving averages are one of the most commonly used technical indicators. A moving average is simply a way to smooth out price fluctuations to help you distinguish between typical market noise and the actual trend direction. By moving average, we mean that you are taking the average closing price of a currency pair for the last number of periods. On a chart, it would look like this. You can see the line running at the bottom of the candles. This is a 14 period moving average. There are two main types of moving averages. There's a simple moving average, SMA, and the exponential moving average, EMA. A simple moving average, SMA, is the simplest type of moving average. A simple moving average is calculated by adding up the last period's closing prices and then dividing that number by itself. If you plotted a five period simple moving average on a one hour chart, you would add up the closing prices for the last five hours and then divide that number by five. Don't worry, you don't need to calculate all this yourself. The charting software would do this for you. So simple moving average. As you can see, we have three SMAs, the five, 25, and the 50 on the one hour chart. The longer the period, the further away the line is. This is because the 50 SMA adds up the closing price of the last 50 periods and divides it by 50. The five does a shorter amount of periods, so it's closer. So instead of using the charts, we can use these to show us the general market direction and see if price is trending up or down. I don't like to use the SMA because they are unreliable and are more open to spikes and lead to false signals when trading. Let's take a look at the EMA, which is the moving average I like to use. So this is the exponential moving average. This moving average gives you more weight to the most recent periods. If there is a spike in the market, the EMA would recover and give a more reliable average price. I recommend using this EMA instead of the SMA, but it is a personal preference. Use whatever one you're most comfortable with. What is the best way to use the EMA when we trade? If we was to use just one EMA, we can tell what trend is currently happening. If price stays above the EMA, it indicates an uptrend, and if price stays below the EMA, it indicates a downtrend. The best way to use the EMA is to use multiple moving averages and wait for a crossover. This usually indicates a change of direction. I use the 200 EMA, the 50 EMA, and the 14 EMA, and then I wait for a crossover in the market. So as you can see on the screen at the first EMA cross, you can see that all three EMA lines crossed and then price made a big move upwards. So when we saw those three EMA lines crossed, we could have entered a buy trade there. We then saw price move up and then another EMA crossed happened at the top. We could have got into a sell trade here and price then moved down. So it's really that simple guys. Just wait for these lines to cross to know when to trade. Let's move on to the charts so I can show you how to set up your EMAs. To add the EMA to your charts, click on the indicators at the top and type in EMA. Click the star next to it so it adds to your favorites and click on it to activate it. This will now be added to your charts. We obviously need free EMAs so you would click it three times. To set your periods, click settings and where it says length, type in 14. Do the same for the other two, but type in 50 for the next one and 200 for the last one. Also change the color of the line so you know which one is which. So the way we use this is pretty simple. If price is above the line, it's in an uptrend, and if price is below the line, it's in a downtrend. And we just need to wait for a crossover to indicate a market direction change. If two EMAs cross, it's a good indication it will change. But if all three cross over, then it is a very strong indication that it's going to change. So as you can see here, all three EMA lines crossed, and then price trended upwards. Price then started to come down, and crossed again here. So pretty straightforward. We don't use the EMAs on their own. We add this as another confluence and confirmation for a trade. So that's the end of the EMA lesson guys and I'll see you in the next one.